Good morning and welcome. It is Monday the 23rd of May. I am Flat Cat Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. Uh, coming up today, we've got a very small bet day. I uh, really didn't find much I liked. I've just got three horses, one bet, so no lucky 15 today. Um, we've done it as wind doubles and an each way treble. Uh, so that is coming up. Before we do that, I'll do the review of yesterday. We'll have a word on the golf, uh, which was frustrating again. Um, and then some stats run down. I also want to uh, talk about the plan for Royal Ascot. So Royal Ascot is three weeks away. Um, so arguably the, 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 well, I'd say, no, it is the biggest flat race. I was going to say arguably the, the, the second best uh, meeting of the year behind Cheltenham. Um, it depends on what you're into, really. Um, I really love Royal Ascot. Um, not so much like the, the kind of the pomp and ceremony, but the, but uh, just a, a lot of the races are down the straight um, and quite exciting to watch. So uh, Royal Ascot plan coming up because we are three weeks from Royal Ascot. So yesterday, how did we do? If you'd just done yesterday's bets, not very good at all. If you'd got the bet from the day before, that kind of helped quite a lot. Um, so... The bet from the day before, we had the Guineas double. Um, so I did put this up on uh, in the comments, I think, on Thursday. Um, and at the time, best price Imperial fight was 35s and Concert Hall was 18s. That ended up going off at 28s. Concert Hall was 15 to 2 in the end. But they both came third. So we landed a nice um, each way double there on the Guineas. So that started us off really, really nicely. Um uh, and then we had bet one that that counter five ran disappointingly. Franco de Port, I, I'm kicking myself because I, I should have advised to take that as SP because often that's the best way to do some of those races um, over in France. Um, so it was t- 28 to one SP and he had it as tens on the channel. Uh, then concert hall was placed and we just needed hot diggity dog. Uh, but no, uh, and that, that would have been our day sorted. Um, and that's pretty much was it because um, I was so disappointed with this. Um, none of those really gave us much of a run for money at all. Like None of them did. Um, so we got nothing back there, um, which also applied here for the, the, the cross trebles because nothing placed. So those just complete write-offs, uh, really disappointed. And then this one had started off well, West Morian placed at 18s and then nothing. Um, so yeah. Really, really disappointing. So, as I said the other day, I'm including the profit from the the double from the Saturday Sunday into today's. So I've got that as thirty on sixteen sixty four back. But if you didn't have that, it would have been thirty on about three pound back. Um, so it would have been a really horrific day. Um, so hopefully, most of you did the double over the weekend on the guineas, and we were all right there. Um, so just from a uh, from a stats point of view, that ended our week. A uh, loss of ten pounds, I've got it as. Um, so so not a good week. Uh, it's continuing this little run we've had about about eight seven eight weeks now. Of we win one week, we lose one week, we win one week. But every time we win, we win more than we lost. Um, so it's still still creeping up. Um, and I've got it overall for may we're still 69 pound ahead for the month of may and for total sports on the channel 18.6 percent profit all sports uh that the horses figure is a little bit higher than that um to move on to the golf the only bit we got back was charles swartshaw he ended up tied top south african even though he was 60th and nine over par um, so I've got that as a £1.90 return to the Lucky 15. So it was a third back um, on the Lucky 15. And then as far as the singles go, Davis Riley looked set to uh, to get us placed and get us over the line to a little, nice little profit. Uh, and he fluffed his lines and double bogeyed on the last. And that completely cost him because he would have been uh, he would have been eighth otherwise. Um, so just gutting. Um, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Last week we had a really nice, uh, a nice Lucky 15 in the golf. And we made a really nice bit of profit. Um, but so many times on the golf, it does feel like we've had a, a, an unfair share of people flussing, fluffling their lines on the back nine and costing us. Um, it is what it is. We'll move on. That was the golf. So we lost 10 on the golf. So last week, lost 10 on the golf and lost 10 on the horses. So we were 20 down for the week is what I've got it as. Um, so that's a few stats. Um, today's bet. So this is what I've got. This is it. Um 
there are quite a few races that pay an extra places and things. Just didn't really like anything. Um, and I'm not going to force it just for the sake of the fact that the, the construct of the race is decent enough. Um, so this is what I've got. And these two at Ludlow are both six runners, I think. So we've got the 405 Ludlow Romanor 9-2. 435 Ludlow Fine Scope 5 to 1 and then the 815 Windsor Windsor Windsor, Windsor Army of 1 15 to 2. So I've done it as 50p win singles, 50p win doubles and then a 1 pound each way treble. That is the extent of today's bet. I can't remember the last day last last day we we didn't have a lucky 15 but you know it, yeah I'm I'm happy with what I've got for for today. Um it's, there's he, clearly not huge value in those prices, um, but uh, but yeah, that that is the extent of it. So it's a very very quiet Monday on the channel here. Uh, that is what we've got, um, and then as far as Royal Ascot goes, so I'm going to do very similar to what I did for Cheltenham. So for those of you who've been watching since since Cheltenham, I did an additional video the night before for each of the four days, and we did a fifty pound what I would call medium risk staking plan rather than the high risk I do on the channel. Um, so it's a, it's a little bit like marking your card, I guess, to a degree. Um, so it's, it was 75% roughly singles and a little bit accumulators. And I'm going to do something very similar for Ascot. So there's five days of Ascot. So carrying on the theme of Cheltenham being as, as a £200 series, it will be a £200 series for Ascot, £40 a day. So I'll be doing a video the night before for Ascot specifically. I'll also be doing the normal daily video where I'm very likely to include the, the Ascot Lucky 15 that I'll do um, as part of the the, uh, the Ascot £200 series. Um, so I'm thinking at the moment for the, for the Ascot series, it will be £40 a day. Um, it will be a Lucky 15, normal stake of what we do on the channel, probably 20p's. Um, it will be a win Trixie and it will be a six horse, a big accumulator, which, uh, which those of you who watch Cheltenham know on day three we were one leg away we had five 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 winners um and we were one leg away from uh, from hitting the sixth one but uh but there you go um so we've that's what we'll do and then the rest of it will be spread on singles for Ascot. um so there'll be double videos basically every every day that week so if you're into Ascot, great but basically it's, it's the take it or leave it so if you really want Ascot, you can watch both um, you can watch just the Ascot one or if you just like the regular channel and you're not interested in the medium staking plan, you can do that. So £20 on the, on the day for the normal channel should be where we're at. £40 on the Ascot video. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I think that's all I've got today. Small bet. Talked about Ascot. I've done a few stats. Um, the, other, oh, the other thing with the stats, I was going to say, it was, it was actually quite frustrating when you look at the stats. Um, we had quite decent prices. We had 40 to 1, 328 to 1, I think I got last week um, placed. Um, the actual uh, strike rate in terms of win or place was 39%. So channel average 35. So we were above average and we had some decent prices, but just couldn't get enough together on the same bets on the same days. Uh, for it to mean as much so we came out with a very small loss where the stats kind of said should have probably come out on a nice nice day and a nice week um, and also the win the, the win amounts of the the those bets was also slightly higher than average so yeah stats were quite good but the actual profit and loss wasn't last week so frustrating anyway that's what we've got i will see you in the morning thank you all for your continued support in watching the channel uh, and uh, we'll see how Little three horse back goes today. Thanks very much. Cheerio.